guys, welcome again sa ITS Information Technology Skills. On today's video, we're going to talk about the characteristics of SRS or Software Requirement Specification. So let's start. The first characteristics is correctness. SRS is correct when all the requirements are stated in the requirement document. The stated requirements should be according to the desired system. So basically, pag sinabi natin correctness guys dun sa SRS, dapat lahat ng mga requirements and needs ng software or yung system na i-develop, dapat makikita dun sa SRS. Then next is completeness. SRS is complete when the requirements clearly define what the software is required to do. It includes the requirement related to performance, design, and functionality. So, kapag sinabi naman natin completeness, guys, dapat naka-state lahat doon yung mga kailangang gawin para ma-develop yung software, yung mga kailangang parts or requirements to do the software. It includes the performance and functionality. So, let's say, pag sinabi mong yung software, dapat mag-require doon sa user na mag-login muna before niya magamit yung software. So, anong gagawin nung software? Kailangan pa ba ng verification or mag-send siya ng OTP before siya makalagin? So, that is completeness. Dapat naka- specify or clear yung mga instructions or yung gagawin dun sa document. Next is consistency. SRS is consistent when the subset of individual requirement defined do not conflict with each other. So, pag consistency naman guys, dapat yung software hindi siya nagko-conflict with the other requirements. So, let's say itong mga dart dito sa board are the subsets or parts ng SRS or yung mga gagawin mo dun sa software development. So, dapat each dart, same sila ng pupuntahan. Dapat hindi sila nagko-conflict or walang against sa isa't isa. The next is unambiguousness. SRS is unambiguous when every stated requirement has only one interpretation. It implies that each requirement is uniquely interpreted. So, Pag sinabi natin ang ambiguousness dun sa SRS, all requirement documents should be clear. So, big sabihin, dapat naiintindihan yung mga statements na nilagay dun sa SRS. Okay? So, pag sinabi mong end user, siya din ba yung client? So, dapat specify mo na si end user, kung hindi naman siya yung client, huwag mong ilagay dun na siya din yung client. Okay? Because there are systems na Pag sinabi natin end user, hindi talaga siya yung nagmamayari ng system. So, an example of that is the enrollment system nowadays. Okay? So, pwede yung students mag enroll dun sa system or gamit yung system. So, siya yung end user or kabilang siya dun sa end user. While yung client is the school na nagmamayari or gumagamit dun sa enrollment system. The next is ranking for importance and stability. So, pag sinabi natin stability, it implies the probability of change in requirement in the future. So, there are instances na nagkakaroon ng changes dun sa development ng isang software. Okay? So, we need to rank the importance ng mga requirements or part ng software for us to identify kung ano yung mas uunahin natin. Okay? So, another way to rank requirement is to distinguish the classes of items as essential. Okay? So, mas importante pa siya kaysa dun sa ibang part. So, yun yung unahin natin or the conditions or optional. Then, next is modifiability. Pag sinabi natin modifiability, SRS should be made as modifiable as likely and should be capable of quickly obtain change to the system to some extent. So, sabi nga kanina, there are changes na mangyayari dun sa software development during the process. Okay? So, dapat yung SRS mo, pwede din siyang ma-modify. The next is traceability. SRS is traceable when the source of each requirement is clear and facilitates the reference of each requirement in the future. So, pag sinabi natin traceability, dapat natin trace mo yung pinanggalingan ng isang requirement. Okay? So, nakakonect ba yung isang requirement dun sa other requirement. Let's say, enrollment system. Saan ba nakukuha yung mga data? Okay? So, dapat matitrace mo na yung data is pwedeng in-input ni registrar, pwedeng in-input ni student. Okay? That is traceability. Dapat makikita yan dun sa SRS. 
So we have two types of uh, traceability. So we have the backward traceability and the forward traceability. These two types of traceability will be discussed on a separate video. The next is testability. An SRS should be written in such a method that it is simple to generate test case and test plans from the report. Okay? So dapat, you are going to create your SRS na madali lang siyang gawa ng test case. Okay? So because later on, we need to test kung yung system na na-develop accepts the requirements of the user. Okay? So dapat makikita din yun sa SRS natin. Then of course, understandable by the customer okay the language should be kept in simple and clear so yung mga technical words can be only understand by the software developers or software analysts pero nasabi nga natin that SRS is a collaborative effort no client and the software developer another is the tester and other stakeholders or key players dun sa system development. So, other key players should understand the SRS. Okay? So, make use of simple and clear words. So, that's it guys. Those are the characteristics of SRS. Kung nakatulong tong video na to, don't forget to like. And kung gusto mo pang matuta about computer programming and other computer stuff, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tutorial videos. Bye!